Hi everyone, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. I had a subscriber ask to specifically show the dried results for my video number 293, which was a ribbon puddle pour. And I will bring this up so you can see all the, hopefully you can see the shininess. That is that dragonfly glaze that I added to this painting. It's in several spots. And I'm very happy with the results of this painting. It dried really, really pretty. You can really see it in here. And I probably will put a spray varnish on this painting. Again, this was a 12 by 12 inch painting. You can just see the sparkle. I will lay it down here again, try and show you the whole painting. There is the upper left. We'll just go down the left-hand side here and the bottom left and go up the middle. I used that grayish blue color along with the white. It was like a two-tone base I believe. Here's the upper right hand corner. You can really see some of that that glaze shine there. And just down the right hand side. So these are the dried results for video number 293. Till next time, take care everybody. Thanks so much. Bye for now. Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. I'm back from vacation and ready to paint. I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm going to lay down a base coat of Blick White. Uh, all my paints today are mixed with The Mix, seven parts mix, one part paint. Here's the mix and I will uh, list Krista's uh, information in my description if you're interested in purchasing the mix. So let's go over my paints today. <clears throat> my first paint is a combination of the Amsterdam Payne's Gray and Prussian Blue. Makes a very, very nice dark color. And I will show you that color. Real pretty. And my next color is Porridge Posse, Porridge Posse Paint, the Snow White Iridescent Pearl. I think it's called Porridge Posse. The next one is the Porridge Posse Ocean Teal Blue. The next one is the Porridge Posse Paint Purple Raspberry. The next paint is, again, the Parage Posse Paint Bluebird Shimmer. And these are all Christina Welsh's line of paints. And my last paint is a Folk Art Dragonfly Glaze. And it's the glaze that goes from red to violet to a blue shift. And I used this in one of my last paintings and it turned out really pretty. Again, I mixed all my paints with seven parts mix, one part paint. I did thin with some water. And let me show you the consistency here. It does leave a little trace. And what I'm going to do is I did get some new cups. This is from Marcy at, uh, I'll have to think of the name of her, of her, uh, channel again um but uh mixed media girl it's marcy at mixed media girl and this is just the two uh split cup the two section split cup i'm going to use this today and i'm gonna hopefully have some negative space and i'm just gonna tip the paint and play with it a little bit and see what we get so what i'm going to do is uh, put my base coat down and fill my cup and then i'll bring you back and we'll start painting
Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've got my base coat down of my Blick White. I filled my cup, show you my cup. And I think I'm just going to start here in the middle and do kind of like a waterfall pour here just to see how it turns out. And I hope you're all seeing that. Tipping my canvas here a little bit. Again, I will list <clears throat> Mixed Media Girl, where I bought the cup, and Porage Posse Paints, Christina Welsh's line of paints, and the mix. I will list Krista's info, all in the description. If anyone would be interested in purchasing any of those products. I am hoping to get some negative space here today. I'd like to get some, we'll just have to see how it goes. Okay. And I'm going to take my skewer here and just fix this little circle at the end before I tip. Really pretty colors in here. And let's give it a torch before I start tipping. And since I do have some of my base coat left, I think I will just pour it around my other paint here just to help it move a little bit. Okay, that should be good. Let's move it out here a little bit. Okay, and now I'll start tipping and I think I'm just going to tip it slowly down. Maybe to the sides a little bit here. And bring it back to the middle. And keep going down with it. And I will let it run off the end here a little bit and then bring it back. Take a look at it here. And I am going to stretch it out quite a bit down at this end. I'm going to run it that way. Just going to keep widening it here slowly.
and bring it back to the center now. And I'm going to tip it this way. And I'm going to bring it back into the middle again. But I do see something in here that does not belong. And when you see something in your painting that doesn't belong, you want to take it out as soon as you see it because it will impact the design of your painting. Okay. So I'm going to bring this back into the middle now. And I'm going to tip it to this far end. And then bring it back. And if you've watched my other videos prior to this one, you'll know that when I use the mix, I always say the, the more that you stretch the mix out, the better effects it gives. Just going to take a look at it now. I do really like this negative space there, and I do like that negative space there. I do want to stretch it out a little more here. So I will stretch it down to this corner. And I will let some of that paint run off and then bring it back. Now I'm just running it down here, stretching that out. Okay, I'm going to take a look at it now. Clean my hands off here a minute. Check my corners a little bit here too. Okay, I am liking this, but I think it needs a little something extra. So what I'm going to do is I've mixed up some, actually it's cell activator paint with uh, Aussie Floetrol and Floetrol, Aussie Floetrol and uh, Blick Black Paint, Mars Black. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to coat my palette knife and see what kind of reaction I get. 
would I do a smear on it? And I'll just try and do a smear. It goes in the direction of the paint. See what we get here. If we get any cells at all. And I may want to um, do a little more tilting here also. And I'm just going to run my palette knife through here. Just give a little something extra for the eye to see. And I'll do it down here also. Make it a little wider. And I am wiping that palette knife off after every time I put it on the painting. You'll have to let, let me know in the comments if you've liked how I added these lines if it added something to the painting or you liked it the way it was before Just to break that up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to do a little tipping and see if I can see what that does. Just to incorporate those lines a little better. bring it back okay I really do like that I think it looks nice just fix on the side here and I think I will do a, just a few more of these uh, little black lines Just following the pattern here.
do a few more here. I'm going to do a little bit of tipping here. I'm going to bring it back. And I'm going to take a look at it, and I think I'm really liking this now. Just adding those few lines have added a lot of dimension to this painting. And I think I will give it a torch. and I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. You can tell me what you think. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. Off camera, I did add a few more of the black lines here. I really didn't get any cells after um, I torched it, but that really wasn't my goal. I just did want to add a little more uh, dimension to this painting so I put in those black lines but here's the upper left hand corner and we'll just go down the left hand side I think these colors just turned out so pretty together and down to the lower left hand corner here and we'll go up the whole painting here for you some very pretty areas really pretty in here and I'll take you all all the way over to the upper right hand corner and here's where I left that negative space I'm just going down the right hand side now it's really nice in here too I like I like how that, that black just really put a, a nice drastic uh, change in this painting. And then these the lighter pinks in here. Very nice. And here again, lower right hand corner with the negative space. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell, choose all, so you'll know the next time I do post a new video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider it. That would help my channel grow. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.